There's going to be some sudden tram movements, loud sounds, fire effects, and water effects. And you guys picked a great day to come and take the studio tour. Uh, this is what we call a working day. It's a work day. Most of the filming happens Monday through Friday. And because this is a work day, we could be experiencing what we call quiet zone, which means we might be so close to filming that I will actually have to get off the mic. You'll see this graphic pop up on your screen. So we're going to be looking out. By the way, that graphic is just for me. It's not for you. So feel free to talk amongst yourselves if this does happen. Um, now, if we see any wigwag lights, the blinking red lights on the side of sound stages, if we see any red flags, um, and once again, this graphic will pop up. I always say, have your cameras out. You never know who you might see. Some of Hollywood's biggest stars come to work here every single day. And they've been shooting a lot of uh, television on the lot as of late, including American Song Contest, which is a new show on NBC, hosted by Snoop Dogg and Kelly Clarkson. We'll talk a little bit about that later on the tour. We got the thumbs up, so I want you guys to look over there on your left-hand side. I want you to wave goodbye to all those beautiful people because we are leaving the theme park behind. We are off on our Hollywood adventure. And right now, I want to introduce you to the man sitting next to me who makes all of this possible. He's our driver, Ronnie. Let's give it up for Ronnie. With yes, without Ronnie, we'd be walking. So thank you, Ronnie. We appreciate you. And I have one more person I want to introduce you to. He's our celebrity co-host here at the studio tour. He's the star of The Tonight Show. An SNL alumni, an Emmy Award winning comedian, Mr. Jimmy Fallon. Oh, hey there. You made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure that you get through this experience in one piece. You've got the very best guy. Just did. And the greatest driver. Robbie. They're the best. I love them. Even though Robbie owes me five bucks. I know you guys are excited to get on the tour, but first, a few safety rules. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, safety is very important here on the studio tour. First, if you need any kind of guest assistance, if you have a medical emergency, you drop something of value off the side of the tram, there's any kind of audio-visual problem, reach up and grab the red emergency cord that runs along the center of the ceiling of the tram. I'll be back to assist you as soon as it's safe to do so. Otherwise, during the entire tour, we do ask that you remain seated, keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Now, the studio is private property. If you drop your phone or just can't wait to use the restroom, Pull the red cord and remain seated on the tram. There's no smoking of any kind allowed the tour. Be prepared. Our tour will feature some tram movements, loud sounds, fire effects, and many water effects. You're going to want to have your cameras out for some great photo ops. But please keep an eye on them so that they don't get wet. And finally, for your safety and those around, we ask that you do not use selfie sticks while on the Are you sorry for the bad guys? All right now, we are taking you down the timeline. Yeah. These movie posters that you're seeing on both sides of the tram, they represent just a few of the thousands of movies that Universal has produced throughout the years, over 8,000 films. Now, as we come down this timeline, I, I'm always reminded of the fact that my favorite Universal film did not make the cut. And I think it deserves a spot here in our timeline. It's a classic film of ours. It's a film noir. We're going to take a look at a scene from The Bell Cop. I have the room ready for you, Mrs. Barrison. Thank you, Walker. Did you hear that? Mrs. Barrington. Not quite, darling, but soon. Very, very soon. Hello. Yes? Every bottle of champagne sent to the room at once. And make sure that we are not disturbed for any reason. wasn't a classic film, but I yeah, I said that that was a classic film to prove a point, and that's that a lot of things you see here in Hollywood are not what they seem. Yeah, they've been based around illusions, and you guys are going to be seeing lots of examples of that here today in the tour, but 
This is Dill Illusion. Look around. This is our studio. We're driving onto the front lot. Sicker like a pet. Uh, the front lot, as you can see, is where we have most of our sound stages. We have 28 sound stages here on the lot. And the sound stages are where they shoot some of the interior scenes to some of your favorite TV shows and movies. Now, stage 12 over there on your left, that's our biggest sound stage. We get on the whole football field. And speaking of big, we're one of the biggest studios on the planet. We have over 400 acres. You can actually see inside the sound stage over there on your left. Yes, giant screen inside there, stage 20. But we are one of the biggest studios on the planet. We have over 400 acres of property here. We're, we're still expanding. In fact, we are very excited to announce Super Nintendo World will be opening here at Universal Studios Hollywood in 2023. Visit our website or social media accounts for updates. Now, Super Nintendo World is going to be right over here on the right-hand side, just behind the screen. That's, that's where they're putting the fin finishing touches on this new area of the theme park. Now, back to production. A lot of a lot of production here on the lot, including the critically acclaimed HBO Max series Hacks, starring Gene Smart. They've been shooting inside Stage 21, just ahead over here on your left. And the first season of that show won a boatload of accolades, including Emmy Awards and Gold Glow Awards. Are excited for the Black Hole? Uh, stage 21 is our second biggest soundstage. It's over 19,000 square feet of space inside. It's massive. Now, Save by the Bell and Superstore TV shows both filmed inside there. Also, Jurassic Park and Apollo 13 in Blue Beams also filmed there. In fact, that's where they shot all the Mission Control Center scenes you saw in Apollo 13. Realism was an essential element for Apollo 13. After all, we were recreating an important moment in American history, a moment many Americans witnessed on television. I'm we looking for our in Houston, too. Texas, where the original control that room for the Apollo mission still exists. Unfortunately, NASA's engineers didn't have filmmaking in mind when they built Mission Control. Since there was no room for the elaborate camera cranes and tracks we needed for the shots, we had to build our own Mission Control. Everything had to be exact, even down to the tiniest detail. That's yeah, incredible what they could build inside of some of these stages. Now, we all know Ron Howard today is the director, the Oscar winning director. Right, the some of you guys might cause a lot of trouble. He was an actor, with the he was a TV nation. sitcom star on shows like Happy Days and The Andy Griffin Show. And speaking of sitcoms, now we're passing by Sitcom Alley. It's over here on your right. We call this area Sitcom Alley because so many famous TV sitcoms throughout the years have shot inside these various stages. Uh, and that legacy continues today with sitcoms like Mr. Mayor, which stars Ted Danson, Holly Hunter, they shoot inside stage 44 over here on your right. Now, speaking of Ted, just beyond Ted over there on your left is Martini, our production bungalows. That's where some of Hollywood's top writers, producers, and directors work, some major Hollywood power players. They work out of these offices, including writer, producer, director Jordan Peele and his Monkey Paw production company. And they brought you Get Out, Us, and this summer's Nope, which I can't wait to see. Also, Frumulon, that's Mike Shore, producer Mike Shore's production company. They brought you The Good Place, which starts Head Dancing, and uh, Kristen Bell. Also, Rutherford Falls with Ed Helms, which you can see on Peacock. Now, many years ago, these were not offices, though. They were dressing rooms where some of the big movie stars used to work on the lot. Now, the contract players, that's what they were called back then. Like Jimmy Stewart, Rock Hudson, Doris Day, Gregory Peck. They used to get ready for these little bungalows. They're kind of like apartments on the lot for the movie stars. Now, Alfred Hitchcock, the master of suspense, famed director of Psycho, The Birds, The Vertigo, Riverdale. He also worked out one of these offices. In fact, we're gonna pass by his office right now. It's right over there on your left. He's got a nice little rose garden in the front. But also, they put his famous profile just outside the front door to pay homage. Lou said he can move into that office. I said, no, I can never be in Hitchcock's office. That should be a drive, a museum. Very excited just to know that he was there and walk by and know he was in that office. Hitchcock has influenced every director. I saw Hitchcock once walking around the commissary. Hitchcock had his bungalow on the lot. I used to go see off with Hitchcock. I loved working with him. I highly respect him. He really understood fear and terror. Birds, 
That was a really scary movie. The birds. Oh, man. That had me looking at crows like for the next 10 years. Psycho, of course. Vertigo. One of the all-time great masterpieces. Hitchcock is master. Master. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is official. We are driving on to the back lot. Now, there's a lot more to see here on the back lot. That's because the back lot is where they shoot everything outside. Now these are metropolitan sets you see over here on your left. It's where they shoot everything outside on a large scale. Now these aren't buildings that you're seeing. They're what we call facades, the front and sides of buildings. And that's because that's all the camera really needs to see. You got your imagination going the rest. Now some of these sets are also practical though. That means they can shoot both interior and exterior shots. Now what may appear to be brick and stone, that's that's another Hollywood illusion. It's merely foam, rubber, fiberglass, and plywood. Now you know there's several famous areas within our metropolitan sets. You know, one of them is called Courthouse Square. Now Courthouse Square might trigger some memories of Hill Valley. California and all three Back to the Future movies. That's where they have the clock tower in Back to the Future. But you've seen Courthouse Square, the Metro sets, and many other movies like Gremlins, To Kill a Mockingbird. Also, there's an area called Brownstone Street. Now, Brownstone Street is characterized by the students and Brownstones. They often see it in the movies. I love these montages of our Metro sets because you can see just how many times our Metro sets have doubled for different cities and, and even different time periods. Alright, so right now we're going to take you into London Square. Now London Square is the newest area of our Metropolitan sets and it actually has doubled as London in quite a few productions, but many other parts of the world as well, including Russia in an episode of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in India, an episode of the Mindy Project, Mindy Kaling. Now, the other side of these facades over here, it looks like they're actually painting some of these facades right now. Let's see, cherry picker up there. But on the other side of these facades over here on your right is an area of our metro sets we call New York Street. Now, New York Street is the single most filmed street on the planet. You've seen it more movies, TV shows, music videos, commercials. And speaking of New York, you know our co-host, Jimmy Fallon, shoots The Tonight Show in New York City, but it's also the city where you gotta start. Hey everyone, welcome to New York. I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. This is actually my old neighborhood. Once got mugged over there by an old woman, tough lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey buddy, how's it going, remember me? No. <laughs> Just like old times. Gotta love New York City. Hey! I'm walking here! I'm walking here! Hey, it's cool, guys. I was just, you know, I was just walking there. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal Metro sets. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Even if you make it here on the Universal lot. Yeah, they've been making a lot over here on our Metro Falls and sets. In fact, they just finished shooting the upcoming season of American Ninja Warrior on New York Street over there in your right. Now, the cool thing about our Metro sets can be any city you want it to be just by changing the street signs, doing a little set decorating. Uh, it's been San Francisco and movies like Dirty Harry, Clint Eastwood, with Chicago in the Oscar-winning film The Stink. It was also Chicago in the Blues Brothers, John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. And we saw it land and make this big hole in the street. That was on the back lot. We talked from a crane. You dig like that in Chicago, you... <laughs> when people ask me all of the movies I've ever done, like, this is the most satisfying the most fun, I've got to say Blues Brothers. We've got to sing, we've got to dance, got to drive with the best stuff people in the world and got to be an actor and a writer. So it was a good piece of work. Danny called John America's guest because there's two walk into everybody's house. During the shooting of the movie, John was missing, we couldn't find him. Danny went off looking for him and saw a light on in this one house and popped on the door. So, uh, sir, we're doing a movie down here looking for one of our actors. Oh, John, yeah, he's on my couch. He came in and he had a snack a couple hours ago. He's sleeping. He was America's guest and he lived me back. Yes, America's guest and of course, our Metro sets have doubled as New York and the amazing Spider-Man and Captain America, the first adventure. 
The 1930s New York City was the setting for one of the great scenes in the movie King Kong. Here's director of King Kong, Peter Jackson. It's the original King Kong, but, but maybe one. 